Good morning, gang. Happy Monday. Back to the grind, huh? I get to go to court today. Uh, let me ask you a question. In an SHTF situation, in your little mag, your neighbors come up to the door, whatever it would be. I mean, the, the world's gone to hell and everything. You know, just I want you to imagine that situation. That EMPs hit or wars hit or something, powers out, you know. When you have everybody come to your house, let's say, or your neighborhood or whatever, is everybody going to get the same thing? At the end of the day, is everybody going to get a scoop of macaroni and four ounces of meat and a tomato? Period. That, I mean, that's, everybody gets this. Doesn't matter if the person doesn't bring anything to the table, didn't prep whatsoever, has no weaponry, no ammunition, no power source, no water, no food, no garden, no nothing. They're still going to get a scoop of macaroni, four ounces of meat and tomato. Are they? That same person, or a different person, I guess, if you will, during the day, sits around and complains, and, oh, poor me, I wish the world would go back to normal, while you're out busting your ass in the garden, or pulling your shift on guard duty, or splitting wood, or where. Are you going to sit down to dinner that night when that person comes over? You're going to have your scoop of macaroni, your four ounces of meat, and a tomato. Is he going to get the same thing? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> At least it ain't happening around here, I'll tell you that. Anybody comes to the door is going to work for whatever they get. This God knows I have. That's the definition of equity that you hear in the news all the time. Not equal, not equality, okay? Every Equal opportunity. Everybody has the opportunity to go garden. Everybody has the opportunity to pull guard duty. Equity is everybody gets the same regardless. Okay. And what I just kind of defined to you is why communism doesn't work. Uh, but here's the deal. In regards to equity, everybody gets the same. Everybody starts out at the same place. No, everybody doesn't. I'm sorry. You're dealt your lot in life and... It's up to you, the land of opportunity, okay, to make it what you want. Now, are some people uh, given advantages when they're born? Sure. You know what? If you were born into the, oh, I don't know, pick something, the Peyton Manning family, Archie Manning family or whatever it is. Yeah, chances are you're okay. You, you know, you might have some... God-given talent to throw a football or, uh, you know, obviously the fa the family has some money. So, sure, you've got to start ahead of the game. You could have been raised in the inner city uh, by a poor single mother or whatever it would be. Does that mean you're doomed for life? I don't know. Go ask Ben Carson how that one turned out for him because that's how he was raised, you know. The guy just wanted to pretty much the world's greatest heart surgeon. But, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Equal opportunity versus equity. <clears throat> and this is the battle that is going on right now. <clears throat> if you caught the comment the other day that the White House is frantically trying to walk back, Kamala Harris saying that FEMA funds to Florida are going to be distributed by equity, that emergency relief funds are going to prioritize black and brown communities over white communities or whatever, you know, I mean, anything like that. Of course, damage control came in immediately <clears throat> and said, no, this isn't true. No, this isn't true. Everybody gets, you know, equal opportunity to get distribution of funds, okay, which is the way it should be. You know, I, I'm sorry, if our government is going to start practicing racism and discrimination, 
we're done. All right. So go there. But you even get it further. You know, the, what last Wednesday, government figures came out and said the wealthiest 1% of Americans now own one third of the country's wealth. Okay. So the one percenters, you know, that are demonized everywhere, own one third of the country's wealth. Fine. How did they get it? Chances are there was some luck involved, but chances are they busted their ass too. They did something nobody else was willing to do. And that that's kind of what I, I want to get into today. You know, Bernie Sanders is screaming. He he's uh you know completely furious that one percent of the country owns one third of the wealth. Well, he owns four houses, has never worked a real job in his life, and even got kicked out of a commune for being lazy. Yet Bernie seems to be doing okay for money, okay? He seems to be part of that one percent, but he's furious, and the people will buy it. Okay. This is the thing. I don't care how much money somebody has. You can you could drive a, a million dollar James Bond DB5 from one of the movies or what I think one just sold for four and a half million bucks or something like that. You can drive one of those. I don't care. That's great. You can drive a, a 1992 Chevy Chevette. I don't care. Okay. If you're a hardworking person, you're okay in my book. If you're a lazy piece of shit, you're not. And that's exactly what we're going to run into. That'll be that'll be the first volley, which we're probably already in, of any sort of, I hate to use this term, but civil war. You know, what you have it, and I and, and I I don't, so I need it. You need to give it to me. Bullshit. I'm not giving anything to you, okay? I will trade you for it. You want a tomato? Go split a quart of wood. <laughs> Sorry, that's just the way it's going to work, okay? I'm going to get something from my hard work, and it's going to be your hard work. This, this is the mindset. Rudy did a video on Alaska Prepper yesterday, his live stream. And I guess people were bitching at Rudy about him making money on YouTube. Yeah, okay. Y'all know you, we get a pittance from the, the ad revenue and stuff like that that's on YouTube. This is work, okay? This is takes time and everything like that. And I completely agree with Rudy. I will say this, though, especially when it comes to Rudy. That man gives more to charity than anybody I know. Bear would be pretty close up there, too. But... I mean, I've seen videos of Rudy just walk out and give somebody a thousand bucks because they were down on their luck. All right. Yeah. Okay. Giving back is important. And certainly I will help the, the less fortunate at time. I mean, y'all know we've done fundraisers for people that have had issues here in the past as well. Okay. And I'm not going to go through and name them, but you you know we've we've helped other people right here on YouTube with medical issues during COVID, with you know a parent dying, uh, you know, and we've raised a bunch of money. You know, somebody had property taxes that had to be paid, otherwise they were going to lose their money. And I mean, Mrs. P and I think we put in the last bit to make sure they were over the top. You know, this is the thing. Equity sucks. It's a bullshit idea. Equality is fine. The goodness of our heart is fine. But somebody to come up and demand that they are entitled to something, reparations or whatever. I mean, you know, I'm sorry, this whole reparations for slavery thing is bullshit. No different than the whole thing of Poland, again, my nationality, demanding reparations for what happened during World War II. Sorry. 
way past that time. Okay? Not happening. It's bullshit. But when it comes to prepping, equity doesn't exist. Common sense will. You're not going to ask the four-year-old to go out and split wood. Okay, and say that's the only way you're eating dinner tonight. Maybe the four-year-old goes out and picks carrots or something like that. There's going to have to be some sort of logic used as to what people are capable of to what they're going to receive. Right? Simple as that. Your mag is going to be a vast array of people, young and old, you know, what their capabilities are, what their physical limitations are. <clears throat> and you're not going to go, well, gee, you know, you're in a wheelchair, therefore you can't do X, so therefore you're not eating today. No, that doesn't work. There's something else everybody can do. Equity in SHTF will be everybody pulling their own weight in whatever capacity that is. It will have nothing to do with skin color. It will have nothing to do with how much you earn. It will all matter on how much you're willing to work. Good out.